It's an honour to be here. Um, exciting time for rugby league, and um, to open up this conference was um, was quite a privilege, really. Um, really pleased to see how many young people are, are here as well. Really keen and enthusiastic young uh, young men and women. Uh, got a clear passion for the sport, and um, it looks from what I've seen in, in that room that the uh, the future of uh, officiating in rugby league is is uh, is a healthy one. He was a very good speaker. He got he put a smile on everybody's face, as you said. Uh, the, you know the stories to tell are pretty much the same through different sports so I think everybody could identify with that he was uh, it was exactly what we wanted he was excellent if you give a hundred percent then you know the satisfaction that you get from being an official I can't describe how great it feels when you contribute in a positive way to a good game you come off that pitch feeling feeling you know a million dollars and um, you know, I'd, you know, I'd encourage anybody who's got a love for the sport to consider taking up officiating to getting getting involved uh, and it's uh, you know it's a, a really satisfying thing to do. Uh, it is the best seat in the house being a rugby league referee you are right in the middle of the action you are in there with the players making decisions affecting games and you know it's a massive role and it's, it's hugely important for us as an organisation. Obviously, with the technology side of the game, etc., you know we have a very structured uh, pre-match routine, uh, which helps us because you know you have to have certain things ready at certain times in terms of the microphone, the camera, all those kind of things, and, and build that into your warm-up uh, and, and make sure that all those things are right and that you're ready the moment that whistle goes. And you learn because there's things happening in your career where you know you're not quite ready. Um, I was pretty fortunate to, to be um, a touch judge on an Ashes game in Great Britain, Australia. Um, where Steve Ganson sent somebody off after 12 seconds and that was my lesson. You know, I learnt on that game, I was still singing the national anthem um, personally, but Steve was ready and he made the right decision on that day and, and they the experiences that you learn from and take forward with you. You know, I look back probably five years ago when, you know, I, I, we, were, we were talking and we, we had a conference with the football officials and one of the subjects was the preparation of the game and um, Howard invited me to go to a Premier League game and look and s just sit in the dressing room and watch how they prepare for the games um, and you learn a lot of things from that you know that th these guys at that stage were, were preparing more professionally than we were um, so hopefully we brought a little bit back that to the, uh, brought that back to rugby league um, and helped our preparation so yeah it's a, it's a definite way forward to work together yeah and, and rugby league is clearly a sport that um, that uh, looks at ways to innovate. Um, it's a forward-thinking sport, and uh, and you know and we can look at the way things are done. And a lot of those innovations do affect officiating, undoubtedly. Um, so you know the guys have to have an open mind, and, and then we can learn from their experiences. Um, and um, I guess we all come from a very similar starting point with a similar mindset in the way that we uh, we approach our games. We have different challenges uh, in in the sports, but un, you know underlying all of that is is the desire to protect the players and protect the image of the game. And, and, uh, and that's what we aim to do. And if we can learn from each other, um, you know, in trying to be better at doing those two things, then uh, it has to be a good thing.